Team Eglin, Team Hurlburt, uh, stand ready to support as they attempt to uh, continue the rescue op or re recovery operations and uh, attempt to determine uh, cause. It's day two of recovery efforts to find the missing servicemen in the black box recorder on board a downed Black Hawk helicopter. It has now been confirmed the bodies of nine of the 11 people on board the chopper have been recovered. Local 15 Stephen Quinn has been following the recovery operation for us from the Santa Rosa Sound. At this point, we are not hopeful for survivors and we are transitioning our search and rescue operation to a recovery. The sobering news for the families of 11 service members came a day and a half after a CH-60 Blackhawk was reported missing over the Santa Rosa Sound. New details emerged about the moments after the fateful crash. Zodiac boats, which were part of the planned mission, were the only craft involved in the search for the first 90 minutes. Once local rescue crews arrived, their efforts were quickly hampered. Boats that did get on scene could not see. They were probably traveling about less than five miles an hour out there, afraid to run into each other and any hazard that might be out there. What they were doing at that point was looking for any survivors that may be in the water. Okay, Those operations continued through the night. I had requested additional assets to, uh, to come in from the Coast Guard boats with sonar, side scan sonar. Uh, we had very limited assets at that point. Until those assets arrived on scene late yesterday morning, we were pretty much searching in the blind, just basically out on the surface. It was only after the fog cleared on Wednesday that the search could continue. At approximately 9 a.m. yesterday, late morning, I'll say late morning, uh, we did have a hit from sonar on what we thought was the aircraft in the middle of the bay. We immediately sent divers out there to get eyes on the target to confirm that it was the helicopter. We sent a diver down basically with a snorkel and he could see from the depth of about 25 feet, he could see that that was the helicopter. Officials say two separate investigations will be held to determine what caused the crash. And it'll have representation uh, from the involved units, uh, Louisiana Army National Guard, as well as the uh, uh, Marine Special Operations Command. Officials tell us that a salvage crew from Mobile will be brought here on Friday to raise those remaining pieces of that wreckage from the bottom of the sound. Reporting here in Navarre, Florida, Stephen Quinn, Local 15 News.